Assalamu alaikum, welcome to another episode of Fit and Fast. In this episode, I'm going to be talking to you about how you can make exercise a habit and incorporate it into your lifestyle. And I'm going to be taking you through a lower body workout, including the glutes and quads, as they are the core foundation of our body. Incorporating fitness into your lifestyle is something that will have a big impact on your life. The first step in doing so would be to reevaluate the reasons for doing so. Being more physically active has numerous health benefits. Studies have shown it to increase life expectancy and decrease your chances of developing chronic disease when you're older. It is also shown to help with stress and mental health problems including depression and anxiety. Do you want to exercise to lose weight and feel better? Or is it to stay healthy and play with your grandkids when you're older? Or do you just want to be a better and well-rounded holistic Muslim by looking after your health that Allah has blessed you with? Figure out what your motivating factor is and write it down so you can keep reviewing it. My second advice to you would be to start right now. Don't wait. Don't wait until tomorrow. Don't wait until later this evening or next week or even next year. How many times do we start planning something but never end up doing so? Make a start now. Go for a run around the block, go for your gym induction, or put that biscuit back in the cupboard. As the famous saying goes, a journey of a thousand miles begins with a simple step. And how beautiful would it be for your journey to start from this Ramadan? Thirdly, try your best to continue the habit you've built in Ramadan. Even though you may be feeling like a week off or two weeks off, the power of building positive habits is key. Initially, it may be challenging and difficult, but I promise you, it's not only going to stay difficult, it's going to become easier and you'll start to crave it. A 2002 study from New Mexico State University showed that people who managed to exercise habitually actually craved something from the exercise, whether it was an endorphin rush to the brain, a sense of accomplishment, or the treat they followed themselves with afterwards. This craving is what solidifies the habit. My fourth advice would be to build a daily or weekly routine. After the month of Ramadan, your sleeping pattern, daily routine, it may change significantly. It's important to adapt and have a routine. This factor helped me a lot personally. Allocating a certain time of your day to exercise can help in building a habit and then doing it consistently. For example, an early morning run bef before work, every day, and before you know it, you'll be doing it in autopilot and it'll become a part of your life that you won't be able to live without. My, my fifth point is try and enjoy the process. Often we start doing something, but sooner or later we stop because we just find it boring. There's no sense of enjoyment or happiness from it. Find an activity that you find fun, whether it's playing football with a group of friends, whether it's playing basketball, whether it's playing badminton or squash. You may find horse riding nice for you. Do what you enjoy personally and therefore it will be more likely to become part of your life and it will help you stay fitter, stronger and healthier. And in this episode we will be doing a home based workout on our legs. So we'll be working on the quads, the hamstrings and also the glutes. So we're going to be doing six exercises, 30 seconds each with a 10 second rest in between. The first exercise we're going to start with is the daddy of all exercises, which is going to be the gold standard squat. So what we want to do is have our feet shoulder width apart and keep our hands in front of us if we're doing bodyweight squats. And we want to go down, keeping the back straight, maintaining an upright posture. And we want to do this for 30 seconds. That's good. If you want to increase the intensity, you can get a dumbbell or a kettlebell. And do the same thing. Don't try that. Yeah. This exercise is really good on your way up. Try and squeeze your glutes and push up with the heels. So on this exercise, you wanna push up with your heels and squeeze the glutes on the way up. Make sure the back is straight at all times. Three, two, one, that's it. 
So the next exercise we're going to be doing is called inchworms and I'm just going to demonstrate that for you. So you just want to stand up right, crawl down and crawl forward and then crawl back up and you should feel your hamstrings working. What we want to try and do is just make sure we're not arching the back too much during this exercise. We don't want to put any extra load on the lower back. Perfect. So we're working most, the ham, majority of the hamstrings. Okay, three, two, one. And a 10 second rest. So the next exercise we're going to be doing is lunges. So I'm just going to demonstrate that for you. Stand up straight. Put one leg in front of the other and back again. Well done. And repeat that for 30 seconds. If you want to increase the difficulty, then you can do it with dumbbells in your hands. Okay, how is that feeling? Yep. So you should be feeling it in your quads mainly. And this exercise you can do whether you're losing, trying to lose weight or whether you're trying to gain muscle. This is a very good exercise for the legs. So, three, two, one, and let's stop it there. This exercise is called good mornings. The main muscles that works is the hamstrings and the lower back. So, we want to keep a slight bend in the legs and keep that bend there. Go down and come back up. And we're going to do this for 30 seconds. To make it harder, because it seems like you're not really yeah. um, struggling, just That's do fine. it with dumbbells. Side, yeah. yeah. Perfect. How is that feeling? So we want to make sure we're not working too much of the quads and neglecting the hamstrings. We want, we want them to be equal and that's why it's important that you work on both as much as each other. Five, four, three, two, one and take a 10 second rest. The next exercise we'll be doing is called glute bridges. So I want you to lie on your back. I'm just going to demonstrate this. And when you're lying on your back, I want you to lift up with your heels and squeeze your hamstrings. So this exercise, you'll be feeling your hamstrings and your glutes. If you want to make it harder, then what I want you to do is put your legs a bit, yes. Can you feel that more? And five, four, three, two, one. So the exercise we're going to be doing now is called Bulgarian split squats. So you want to position your front foot first, so you don't fall over, and then put the other one and you just want to come down and back up. And then switch over. So this is a very good exercise for the quads and also the glutes. When you're pushing up, try and squeeze your bum. So 15 seconds on each leg. And five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. So that was it guys, six exercises, 30 seconds each with a 10 second rest in between. So Nabil's just taking us through some brief leg workouts. Now join me after the break where I'll be taking you through a full leg routine that we can do at home together. Get your workout gear on, make sure the space around you is clear and maybe do some stretches ready to go when we come back. Welcome back guys, I hope you've got your workout gear on and you've gotten a few stretches in. Now we're going to do a full leg workout that you can do at home. Alright guys, so I hope you're ready. We're going to start the first exercise which are squats. Remember we want to keep our knees behind our toes, pushing our bum outwards and back and our back as straight as possible, okay? Head up. 
We're going to start in three, two, one. Let's go. Ready? Remember, legs shoulder width apart. Try and get as low as possible, keeping the back straight. Not fully locking the knees out when we come up, okay? Giving a little bit of give as to not hurt the joints. Three, two, one, boom, and we're done. All right, guys, so the next exercise is a bit more high paced and they're called in and out squats. All we're going to be doing is a regular squat like we just did, but we're gonna be bringing our legs in and squatting with our feet together and then apart, okay? So back and forth like this. Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Nice deep squats, guys, remember, okay? Go at your own pace. If it's too easy, you can always bring your legs much closer together, okay? Three, two, one, and stop. Great job. Okay guys, so the next exercise we're going to be doing are lunges and you re may remember how to do these from the fat loss workout. So we're literally just coming down on one leg, making sure, bringing, dropping our knee, making sure it's not touching the ground and making sure this knee doesn't go over our toes, okay? Nice straight back and we're coming up and we're switching. Okay, three, two, one, let's go. Nice and controlled, try and get as deep as you can on that lunge. You should really feel it in your hamstrings and your quads. Remember, form is the most important thing, guys, okay? Form and breathing, of course. <laughs> Three, two, one, and we're done. Okay, Whew, 12 more exercises to go. All right, guys, so the next exercise we're doing are called split leg lunge jumps. They're like the lunge we just did, but with an added jump in between. So we're just lunging and switching. Okay, right, let's start in three, two, one, let's go. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Great job, keep going guys, get nice and low. When you're jumping, try and control the land, okay? Really focus on your form and posture. Three, two, one, and stop. Ooh, okay, shake it out, really feeling it now. Still a long ways to go. Okay guys, so the next one are lateral lunges. Again, they're like a lunge, but to the side. So we're just gonna be going outside. Going to the outside, come back to the middle. Okay guys, three, two, one, let's go. Out, and back to the middle. Trying to get as low as we can, okay? If you do find this a bit too easy, you can always pick up the pace and be a bit more choppy with the technique, okay? A bit quicker, trying to stay off your feet. And then when you feel a bit fatigued, slow it back down. Three, two, one, and rest. Stretch out the legs. Okay guys, so the next exercise we're going to do are calf raises. I'm sure you'll remember this. So we're just gonna come off our heels onto our toes, push up, hold for a few seconds, and back down. Okay, three, two, one, let's do it. Nice and controlled as we go up, and back down. Go up, hold it, and come back down. If you want to add a bit more tension and make it a bit more difficult, you can always step off a set of stairs or something with an edge. Three, two, one, and rest. Whew, great job, guys. Right, we're halfway there. All right, guys, so we're straight back in. The next one, pistol squats. And for this, I have a trestle, which is one of these. But alternatively, you can use a chair. So all we're gonna be doing is basically a single legged squat whilst we're holding uh, the trestle and keeping our other leg forward like this. So we're gonna come down and come back up, okay? So we're gonna be doing 15 seconds on one leg, 15 seconds on the other. Three, two, one, let's go. Coming nice and low, there we go. Three, two, one, and we're switching. Okay, so switch sides. Coming as low as possible. 
If you find you don't have much stability, every now and then just grab onto the trestle or your chair. Three, two, one, and rest. Okay guys, so for the next one, I need the trestle out of the way, so I'm just gonna put that to the side. And we're gonna be doing single leg knee raises. The way we're gonna be doing this is coming onto one leg, hovering the other leg off the ground, trying to keep our balance. Step back a bit. And all we're gonna be doing is exploding our knee up, holding it, and bringing it back down. Okay, we're gonna start in three, two, one, let's go. Okay, and as you're balancing, you're actually working all the small muscles that are supporting your joints in your ankles and your foot. There we go. As you can see, I almost lost balance there, so I just stopped to gather myself and then continue. Three, two, one, and change. <sighs> Trying to drive that knee as high as possible, okay guys? Really focus on exploding up, holding, and bringing it back down. Three, two, one, and we're back down. Okay, so for the next one, we're gonna be doing straight leg swings. And for this, again, I need to bring the trestle back. So, this is just for extra support. All we're going to be doing is bringing our leg out straight and then swinging it back as high as possible. Trying to keep our balance and come back through, okay? Now, preferably, you don't wanna use the trestle, but if you need to, feel free to. Three, two, one, let's go. Really push that leg upwards and out. Okay. Three, two, one, and switch sides. Okay, away we go. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, guys, the next one is really gonna test us, but we're gonna have a little fun with it. For that, I'm gonna need to move the trestle out of the way. And all we're gonna be doing is getting down in a squat position and staying on our toes back and forth, imagining that the, flo the floor is a fire and we're trying to keep our feet off the floor. As I do this, I'm gonna be saying switch and we're gonna switch sides and you have to try and imitate and match the sides that I switch as fast as you can, okay? <sighs> right, let's get it done. Three, two, one. Keep going guys. Switch. 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 Oh, switch. 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 Three, two, one. Ah. Oh. So the next one are squat jumps. So we're just doing a squat and just jumping up. Okay, so we're gonna start. In three, two, one, let's go. Get nice and deep on that squat and explode as fast as you can up off the ground. Driving those legs through and exploding up. I'm gonna switch sideways so you can see. Control that breathing. Three, two, one, and rest. Okay guys, so the next exercise we're gonna be doing are side leg raises. I'm bringing the trestle back in. And all we're gonna be doing, it's a bit easier for us. We need a longer rest in between, I think, after that. Straight leg, coming out to the side. Straight leg, coming out to the side. As high as we can, okay? Right. Three, two, one, let's go. You should really feel this in your hip flexors and a bit of your glutes as well. Three, two, one, and we're gonna switch sides, okay? Three, two, one, and rest. Okay guys, so the next one we're gonna be doing are deadlifts. For this, I need to move the trestle. So, all we're gonna be doing is taking a, a same position as a squat, so legs shoulder width apart. Okay, so all we're gonna be doing, like we're going down in a squat, remember knees never over toes. Coming down, we can act like we're lifting a weight. Okay, and we're gonna push back up through. And we're never locking our knees fully out, okay? Keeping some nice flexibility on our joints, okay? We're gonna start in three, two, one, let's go. 
Back nice and straight, okay? Deep squats. If you find you need a little bit more space in between, you can always shuffle to give yourself a bit more room between your legs. So I'm just gonna turn sideways so you can see the form. Three, two, one, and rest. Whew, almost there, guys. Okay, so the next one we're doing are close leg squat. So our legs are coming in together like this, and we're just gonna squat and come up, okay? Three, two, one, let's go. If you feel like your legs are too close together, you can put a little bit of a gap in between. Just coming down, keeping that good form. Back straight, chin up. Remember, toes never over, the knees never over the toes. So we're pushing outwards as we come down. Out and backwards. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, guys, great job, you've made it. One more exercise and I'm out of your hair for the evening. So this one is called a one-legged pickup. So for this, I need a TheraBand. Well, I need any object, I have a TheraBand. I suggest that you use a small soft squidgy ball or a tennis ball. And I'm also gonna be using the trestle. Again, you can use a chair or anything to support yourself. Using this for support, I'm on one leg. I'm gonna come down, slowly pick up my object and explode up onto my toes. If I lose my balance, I can always grab the trestle, okay? But we try and remain on one leg and drop it back down to the ground. Okay, we're gonna start in three, two, one, let's go. Three, two, one. Okay, now I'm just gonna switch over. Three, two, one, and we're there. Whew. All right, guys, we made it. Well done, we've blasted our legs. Make sure you warm down, obviously, and uh, stretch your legs out. Keep yourself nice and mobile and drink lots of water and rehydrate when you can after you break your iftar. Thank you very much for joining us on this series. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did and I hope you're able to incorporate it and benefit from it to carry it on in your lives. Now remember guys, if you need to, rewind and check out the episodes again and refresh your minds on everything that we've taught you. Just because the series has ended, it doesn't mean the journey has to end. Let's keep this up, let's keep it together. On that note, Perry, Assalamu alaikum. alaikum.